সালাত তোমার বহু পরম শেষ বিচারের দিন সালাত তোমার জীবন জুড়ে খুশব প্রতিদিন জয় নামাজি শান্তি বিলাই চিত্তে সীমাহীন محمد ابول کاشم سینئر لیکچرر ڈپارٹمنٹ آف اسلامک اسٹاڈیز مائل اسٹون کالج ڈھاکہ ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس In our today's class, we are going to discuss about Shuriyat. This is from chapter 2, lesson 1. So from this lesson of Shuriyat, we will be able to learn about the idea of Shuriyat, about the subject matters of Shuriyat, about the sources of Shuriyat and about the importance of shariat in our practical life as a mumin or as a muslim so dear students let's start our today's class first of all the meaning of the word shariat the shariat may the word shariat means path way etc and in the islamic terminology what is called shariat According to Islamic terminology, the Islamic way of life or the Islamic working principles is called Shariat. That means each and everything of Islamic rules, regulations, methods, principles, directions that has been given in Al-Quran and in Al-Hadith will be regarded as Shariat for us. Now, the subject matters of Shariat. Dear students, in short, we can say that Shariat is a first thing. The subject matter of Shariat is a complete whole. It's a very vast idea. That means each and every part of human life is included in shariat that means nothing of human life is out of the discussion of shariat each and everything of our life has been discussed in this shariat so islamic shariat is a complete whole but the muslim scholars divided the subject matters of shariat into three parts the first one aqaid or the issue of faith that means all types of belief related aspects of our life will be counted in will be will discussed in shariat secondly rules and principles of morality and conduct that means each and every types of our conduct our manner our behavior uh, what should be our approaches in each and every parts of our life everything of our morality and conduct has been discussed in this Sharia. And third, laws and rules of our practical life. That means in our practical life, uh, how should we follow the directions of Islam? How should we uh, run our life, we maintain our life, each and everything of our practical life? That means from our uh, uh, from our uh, regular life, from our personal life, our state life, our national life, our economic life, our each and every aspects of life has been discussed in Shariat practically. That means Islamic Shariat is a practical ideology. Islamic Shariat is a practical, uh, practical rules and regulations of Islam. And that means in these three parts of Islamic Shariat, each and every part of human life has been narrated or has been included. Now the next part, importance of Shariat. Dear students, as Islamic Shariat contains each and everything of our life, as Islamic Shariat shows us the right path, shows us the 
uh, real path, the path of success in this life and in that life. That's why Islamic Sharia is important to follow for a mumin and a Muslim. As a mumin, as a Muslim, we must to follow it because it is the direction of Allah and His Rasul. It is the guidance for all the mumins and Muslims to follow his life in this uh, this world and to be succeed in that world. So, if anybody does not follow Islamic Sharia, he will be a kafir. And if anybody does not Islamic Sharia, it is tantamount to disbelief or rejection of Allah and His Rasul. That means, uh, if anybody does not follow Islamic Sharia. Is anybody reject any part of Islamic Sharia? It is equal or tantamount to disbelief in Allah and His Rasul. Not only this, there is an ayat of Al Quran that Afatu uminu na bi baadil kitab yu atak furu na bi baad. Do you then follow some or a specific portion of Sharia and then reject other parts? Such type of following of Sharia will uh, bring reproach and insult in this very earth and will be harassed will be severely punished in the next life that means if we follow some certain part of sharia according to our wish according to our will uh, uh, then this this types of partially following sharia will bring reproach and bring insult in this earth for us as a mumin or as a muslim and in the next life we will be punished in the fire of Jahannam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his Rasul will be pleased if we follow Shariat and overall we can say as in Shariat each and everything of our life has been discussed so if we want to follow Allah's rules and regulations perfectly and exactly we have to follow Islamic Shariat fully and perfectly then we will be succeed in our life the last part of this topic the sources of Sharia. Dear students, all we know it that there are four sources of Islamic Sharia. That means if we want to uh, retrieve any decision in our regular life, we will follow four sources given by Islamic Sharia. First one is Al Quran, second one is Al Hadith, thirdly, Isma, and fourthly, Qiyas. Only these four sources can be applied to follow Islamic Sharia. Okay, dear students, uh, this is for today. In our next class, we will discuss another topic, inshallah. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.